Now an iTunes investigation, the potential dangers of a keyless ignition and the risk that comes with that convenience. Some drivers are accidentally leaving their cars on, and as Ryan Kath explains, that can have deadly consequences. My mother-in-law has uh, collapsed. There is a chemical smell in the house. That smell was exhaust from B.D. Nyack's car. He forgot to turn it off after pulling into his Weymouth garage. Both he and his wife were rushed to the hospital. He's having a chest pain. The carbon monoxide levels were 50 times what's considered safe. Sounds like that was a real close call. Yes, if it was at night and people went to sleep, uh, you know, who knows what would have happened. Nyack's car is one of five million cars on the road today that has a keyless ignition system. They start with just a push of a button. This might look like a key, but it's not. It's called a fob. It actually electronically sends a message to the ignition that it's okay for the car to start. It might sound simple enough, but the problem comes when it's time to turn the car off. It is not the key. You can exit with the fob, and the car can still remain running. So take a look at this. I'm standing about 100 feet away from the car. I've got the fob, and the engine is still running. I kept on getting more and more dizzy when I walked up the stairs. Erin Damalaris' mother left her keyless car running by mistake. Erin's room is over the garage. The 13-year-old was hospitalized for CO poisoning. I feel very lucky, and I thank God that I'm here today. At least 18 deaths have now been reported, including Pascal and Rena Fontanini of Chicago, who died after their car ran all night long. 28 plaintiffs, including one from Massachusetts, have filed this class action lawsuit against 10 manufacturers, saying this so-called convenience has produced deadly consequences in the absence of safeguards. This is a huge safety problem. Sean Kane is a nationally recognized auto safety expert based in Rehoboth. It sounds like this is happening to people of all age groups. What that speaks to is a design that is inherently unsafe. Kane wants these vehicles recalled so software can be updated. This is an inexpensive fix because all the vehicles that have a keyless ignition already have the sensors, the timers, and the hardware. The Auto Alliance, which represents many car manufacturers, told the I-Team safety is our top priority and that industry engineers are working on features so consumers can have an even better understanding of keyless systems. Weymouth Fire Chief Keith Stark hopes those changes come soon. People have lost their life from this, so I mean this is should be a priority for the, the car industry. Federal regulators are working on new rules for keyless ignition systems, including auto Audible warnings like this for drivers. But safety experts worry that millions of cars will remain on the road untouched before the federal government acts. For the I Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News. If there's a story you think the I Team should check out, give us an email, iTeam at cbsboston.com. You could also call us 617 779 TIP.